One of the single biggest missing components in sports training is that nobody addresses strength training the feet. The foot, as the Russians proved over and over, produces more force in the get off and running and jumping than the rest of the muscles of the leg combined. So to ignore it, to me, is unbelievable. The bones in the foot alone comprise a fourth of the body's total skeletal structure. And they don't have a ton of muscle down there just because of the way it's shaped. Now, Da Vinci proved that the way the foot was designed was still the best suspension system ever designed by anybody, and they can't really duplicate it in engineering. And when you look at that single component, suspension system has to be able to absorb and fire. And if your muscle complex of your legs are overpowering those, well, obviously, number one, that's going to cause an injury. But number two, you're not going to be able to maximally transfer that energy through your feet when you release in jumping and in running. So two things have to be addressed. Your ankle mobility, the ability of the foot to move back and forth in full range, and then also the strength of all the toe complexes, or the five toes, predominantly the big toe. And because as you move through that, you have to push off the ground. Well, all that energy rolls out through the toes. If the toes are weak, you can't transfer that. So the feet, I think, are the single most important aspect in training athletes for any sport. Your feet are what control your movement. They're the only thing touching the ground. And they provide your brain with instant feedback on where you are in space, and they adjust. When you start strengthening the feet and understanding where your power comes from, it changes how you move, how you run, how you stabilize yourself, how you balance yourself. So when you start getting deficiencies and weaknesses within your feet, it's going to affect everything that you do. And when you start strengthening them, you're going to be able to transfer a lot of the other power and energy that your body stores and uses when it pushes off the ground through running, jumping, and other things. And if you miss this component in athletic training, there's no way that you're ever going to thoroughly maximize any athlete. I don't care what caliber of athlete he is. So we use four different basic components. We have three small devices, one called a slant board that specifically helps to train the strength of the foot in any angle that you can think of. We use what's called balance discs. They're little round discs that the minute you're off balance, you will fall off. And you have to learn to adjust your body based on the instability of those balance discs. And it really helps with establishing the proper posture because you can't balance properly without correct posture. The third device would be what's called the balance pipes. And they not only provide great flexibility for the ankle and the foot, but they also roll out the fascia uh, along the bottom of the foot. And they really help from an injury prevention standpoint as well. So you're addressing the strength of the ankle, the mobility of the ankle, and the ability to balance from your feet, all in three little devices. As you advance from that, we'll use a strength device that we have that's called a accelerating isokinetics, and it really helps to stimulate the strength throughout the ankle and the calf, and it dramatically improves ankle strength, foot strength, and overall leg strength. We have focused a lot on foot strength, a lot on flexibility throughout the whole body, a lot on balance, on coordination. And those abilities have certainly benefited every athlete that's ever come here. Because balance, rhythm, timing, coordination, those things are keys to improving athleticism. And athleticism, by definition, is not how much weight you can lift. So the idea is that you give real things that will give a performance edge to you when you're playing your sport. And if that doesn't start with the feet, then somebody has to convince me how else you move your body. <laughs>